Oh, I didn't practice. Shit. Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive and keep... Takes the handoff. They'll tackle him at the 27. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains. I, 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 and runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. Looking to throw. It's Uyangalale. Makes a quick catch. Breaks loose at the 40. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Good job with the offensive line giving his quarterback time to throw. <clears throat> Damage he can do to you when he does have time. A great throw and something you just kind of expect in Tallahassee. A quarterback that can make throws like this. It's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Oh, a reverse. Has the first down still on the move. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Florida State. Make They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Across the 40 now. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. The 10. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Seminoles. Well, that's a well oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. No, I cannot. It's all right. No, I cannot. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. A pop pass. Yeah, I can see. Picks up the first, looking for more. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. Crosses the 10. No stopping and takes it all the way. Touchdown, Knowles. No, I cannot. A great job here of finding him again. That's his second touchdown reception no. in this football game. I don't know. It's all right, though. Pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. The Knowles looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Let's a fly out of the wide out. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way All wide right. open. And All right, I love you. Down, but this offense creates a huge right. chunk play. 
They attack the deep by. middle of this defense. Come right, up bye. with a big play. Nice job. <sighs> right. Mighty. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Put in the blue hell, man. Handing off on the draw play. That one moves the ball across the 40. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. There's the handoff. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down? And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Touchdown, Florida State. Yep. And the beatdown continues. Kirk, this quarterback told us this is my time to shine. A playoff game. He has gone out and backed that up so far. Yeah, he's done everything that's been asked of him and more. Just a great job of getting into a rhythm. Really tough to defend. Right now, the defensive coordinator, you can see him down there. He's throwing his headset. He's frustrated. He's got to come up with some new wrinkles to try to slow this guy down. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he crosses the 30. And that's good for a first down near the 40. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the three-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. Trick nine, beat. Free snap motion from the receiver. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. They bring him down, but not before a huge game. Moves the ball to the 40-yard line. And the wideout goes in motion. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. You know, a lot of times these types of plays either go for nothing or they can go for... And, of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to... Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks and the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this, to get to the national championship, that says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically, and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Welcome, everyone, to a piece of college football history as we crown this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment to battle for that precious trophy as we'll see the number seven seed in this playoff, the NC State Wolfpack, taking on another team from the ACC, the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports and College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Curbstreet. And this is it. Two teams enter, one team leaves here as national champions. Let's get this. will keep it on the ground here breaking free at the 35 
That's good for first down yardage. They'll spot it to the 37. Boy, nice call here to start this national championship game <coughs> with a physical run. I think this offensive line has been a strength all year long, and here they get this game started the right way. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Got the first down, now looking for more. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Touchdown, Seminoles. No chance to catch it. Some of the crowd hasn't even settled in. We got points on the board. Buckle up, Kirk. I mean, this is amazing. This is exactly how you envision it with the long layoff, the hype, the pressure, all the interviews you've done. And to be able to start off with an opening drive and a touchdown, couldn't have scripted it any better. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. As the first down is still going. Tackle's made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. Game moves the ball to the 43. First down coming up. To throw, it's Uyangalale. And he'll rifle this one deep to the right side. The catch is made for a huge pickup. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown. Receiver in motion now. On the ground, it's Toa Fili. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage. Not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. They're going to run it. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs, and especially corners, that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play of that corner. And the game just good enough for a first down. That's another huge game for this guy. And I'll tell you what, they're doing a good... Flip it to him on the jet sweep. Has the first down and more. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. And I love how they're... Here we go, here we go. Second down, we're going to throw it. Great grab on the sideline. He does get the foot down before going out of bounds. That's another yep. positive game here for this offense. And this defense... Looking to pass. It's Uyangala Light. He's got it near the end zone. And he scores. Yeah. Touchdown, Florida State. Oh, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far, and the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in. Okay. Seven foot seven tall. Oh, no. And the back now goes in motion. A pop pass on the jet sweep. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quick throw. The 
catch is made. He's found some room at the 45. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Seminoles. This is just quarterback wizardry. An amazing game with a national championship on the line tonight. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Knowles. And this one is getting <laughs> ugly. Championship game, and there is nobody you can cover this guy. What a monster performance by this receiver. Chris, one of the biggest stage in college football, and this guy's treating it like he's playing a video game. My gosh, he's got this defense in la-la land out there. Back to throw. It's Uyangala Light. Rifles this football to the left. The deep shot is caught. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Florida State. Well, touchdown to a wide open man. Kirk, what in the world was going on in the defensive side of that play? Wow, what was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. Oh, boy. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Yeah. Yeah. Got motion from the offense. Big pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside of the perimeter to set something up downfield. Second down after that previous play. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He's past the marker and still going. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Inside the 30. Inside the 10. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Seminoles. And whoop. My, my. Now that's a play that makes your jaw touch the floor. The pass and catch to take it the distance on one play is definitely an offensive coordinator's dream. <laughs> Seen the one guy coming, I was like, ah! I just took off, and then I like. Well, really entertaining yes. one. It was fun one to call. They get the W, Kirk, in a shootout. Not much to criticize for either of these teams on the offensive side, but where they put on a great show. But for the two defenses, especially the losing squad, you can't imagine their coach is too happy with their performance. Well, that's it. Dramatic punctuation to another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk okay, Street, boys. I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been a presentation yeah, look at of me. EA Sports All College hype. Football. Officially, your kings of the college football world and national champions, the Florida State Seminoles.
Now what happened? Last one is standing. All right, I did that. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Clueless. Here we go. Hmm. We're going to make new hey everyone this is desmond howard and welcome to road to glory before we get going have a look around and customize the mode settings to your liking here is where you can also set up custom conferences
Now let's get started by choosing the caliber of recruit you want to be. The higher your star rating, the better your chances of seeing the field early. Plus, you get some extra mental abilities to help boost. Next, it's time to choose the position you'd like to play. A quarterback, a defender, or <laughs> maybe a wide-out baller like myself. Now you'll pick what type of player you'd like to be. Keep an eye on here. We'll customize your bio info, gear, and appearance. Yeah. You know what they say. Look good, feel good, play good. You alright, Mom? Yeah, I'm ironing. Ironing.
Time to choose your mental abilities. These will help to separate you from other players. Let's take one final look. Once you hit that confirm button, your road to glory begins. Welcome to National Signing Day. Once you've selected your school, your college football career begins. If you have aspirations to see the field early, pay close attention to the depth chart. And even if you didn't get your dream scholarship, you can be a walk-on at any school. Plus, there's always the transfer portal if you need a change of scenery down the line. Now it's time to pack your bags and head off to college. Good luck on your career. I oh, and before I go, welcome to your freshman year. It's time to spend the skill points you have already earned to upgrade your player. Additionally, each week, you will need to manage your workload. Activities like practice will earn you coach trust. And as your coach trust increases, you can improve your spot on the depth chart and gain more play calling flexibility. Now, let's get to work. I <clears throat> I'm now a quarterback. Set, hut. Ready. Here we go. Set. Oh. Easy. Ready, ready. Damn it. Come on.
Damn it. Oh my. I ain't gonna play in it. I'm gonna walk on. Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium. You walk in this place, you can feel the ex Yep. Nope, I ain't gonna let me play. Come on. In these overtime games, Kirk, it just comes down to execution in the moment. Who can make one more big play? They did it.
Green twenty five. Get set, get set. Ready, go. Two spider, four two spider. Cobra, go. Twenty nine Philly, two nine. High. Jack Rabbit. Big. Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium. You walk in this place, you can feel the echo. So many epic moments. Well, they had some high hopes, Kirk, coming into this game. They practiced well, prepared well, mm -hmm. they were optimistic, but things just did not work out. And that's Oh no! Oh. I do not want to do that at all.
Welcome to the birthplace of college football. Oh, that was a pretty rough showing there by this team. Just couldn't find a way to get things going and come up with the win.
Welcome to the house that Rockney built. Leahy turned into legacy. Parsegan renovated. Man, we are losing. When you deal with a rivalry game, you have to live with the outcome for a full year. And this one is going to... Why? Welcome, everyone, to the house that Rockney built, Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus, the whole... My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. Uh, wait, I don't want to get carried away there. But it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we I'm just saw. I'm not playing at all on the game.
Two spider, four two spider, ready. Cobra, reset. Six, ready go. Billy, two dead. Jack Rabbit. Hold on to the ball, man. Easy. Green twenty five. Go. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral site showdown. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 12 team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a team from the AAC, the Navy Midshipmen. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. I gotta make it longer. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really important.
Welcome to Winston-Salem and another stop along Tobacco Road, which is home to the... You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly this was a... A winnable game for us? Yeah. What the fuck is going on with this thing, man? Howdy! That's the green... It has been oh said God. that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium with da -da -da, another game I am playing. You know what's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Figuratively speaking, of course, and...
Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football oh, matchup. Man, in Nobody snow? at home. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry. Oh, QB2. Moving on up, <coughs> up in the Damn. Yeah, level up, all right. All right, here we go. I'm now QB number two, and we're gonna see if I am. The Los Angeles Coliseum, once home to the Olympic Games and many of the most memorable moments in sports, and also. Oh. Okay, ready? Easy. Looking to pass on second down. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. Better find the earplugs. 
here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. All right. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Siri, what's the score of the Phillies game? Hey Siri, what's the score of the Phillies game? The Bears are losing to the Yankees, six to four, in the bottom of the eighth inning. There is no practice. I'm back to QB3 now. Let's go. <clears throat> Glad to have you with us from glorious San Diego, California, America's finest city, as we get set to see who's going to come out on top in the Holiday Bowl. Bowl game.
Just complete and utter dominance in this. <laughs> Outplayed their opponent and took care of. Now what happens? We didn't make enough. Ah, oh, they're just gonna simulate the bowls. That's why they didn't even make the bowl. I'm prepared. Come on. Deactivated. It's okay, Mom. You don't need to cook. Yeah, I'm being prepared. That's what I'm doing. Welcome to Winston-Salem and another stop along. Here we go. On the set. On, set. 
Keeping it on the ground with the running back. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. You got to feel good for this kid, too. He worked so hard this past offseason to put himself in position to be the starting running back, and he's got a lot of skill, guys. He's got speed, open field running ability. I think he's going to be a big part of the offense. This Nothing but green ahead. He's at the 20. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown. Yeah. Let's go. The handoff as they run the counter play here. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. As college football evolves, guys, and players have more rights, and they capitalize on name, image, and likeness, and teams are in different conferences, maybe the biggest thing and the thing that keeps coaches up at night, dealing with the transfer portal. He's loose. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. He'll come out throwing on first down. Gets it out quickly. At the 40, there he goes. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. And a nice job finding my wide receiver. And then how about the wide receiver turning into a running back, getting upfield, getting some positive yards, and getting the first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind. But listen, you give up the run, they get a short little gain. No harm, no foul. They try to pop a run on the draw. Makes it past the marker. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He's now up to 83 yards on the ground, and they wanted to have an identity as a running team, and he's giving them that in the season opener. The line of scrimmage, the two, and these final two yards might be the toughest here on third down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. All right, he's now tried running the... Wide receiver coming across in motion. Running back searching for a hole. Find some running room. He'll pick up four out to the 12. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness. Fires into traffic. Picked off. Looking for more room. Oh. Gets it into the end Gotta zone, there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. What? So the offense will decline that penalty after the big play. They'll run it. They open the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Here's the handoff. They push it out to the 39 after picking up five. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there. And a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I...
First pass, baby. Look at that. Woo! Good job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Out of the gun to give to the back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves them with second and short. Kennesaw State hopes to be wise here in the red zone. Man, this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards on the ground. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk. And he's going to take it to the house. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Kennesaw State, baby. Quarterback checking off. They're going to test the right side with this one. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. He found a little opening and got loose. They couldn't stop him in the backfield, so a solid pick up there. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where no, no, you're no, no, right no. on this drive. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. First down for the offense. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. 17, Wake Forest, 14. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Right back to the well. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. From the shotgun, the inside give. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down. Guys. He leaves it with the back. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defense around. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Yeah, and third and short. Leaves it with the back. Got the first down and still on his feet. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Slippery slide, find his way and ran away. Ready 
Yep, yep, yep. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. And he's brought down after a nice game. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Takes the easy one to the back. Running with pace, changing speed, showing the moves. He's down to the 30. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and check-downs. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. Kennesaw State right back to work. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you've got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? Just really hard to stop when the defense is hard. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And they take it in for six more points. Fast motion from the offense. Off play action on first down. He's going to take off. Obliterates him still on the move. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. The give to the tailback. Still running at the 40. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. And he makes the grab, but the officials immediately signal that he's out of bounds. Well, you gotta love that if you're on defense. They'll try the run. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? What is that ref doing, bro? Distracting me. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. And this guy is elite. There's a reason why he starts in this offense. You just saw the speed and the open field running ability on that last play. And this is a guy that is going to be key to the entire season for this offense. It's really easy to be a quarterback in an offense that runs the football and then runs play action. It makes it simple. It makes the reads easy. It sucks the linebackers and safeties up where I can just make plays right behind it. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. He's looking to throw. Fires to the end zone. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. 
Touchdown, Owls! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Going up top on first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Gives it to the back on the draw. And oftentimes, running backs love drop plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their runs. Hey, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that. It puts you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, you gotta stop it. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Well, they're going to RPO. Nice job handing it off. A really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive points. Makes the grab. It's Moss. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Leaves it with the running back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs management. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. They feed him again. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. He get it down to the 35 before he stopped. 10-yard pickup on the play, and it's a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Hands it off. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. The give to the back. Nice move to stay on his feet. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30, it would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Trying to get to it. He'll pull it down and run. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. Oh, no. <coughs> Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Tough. Got it. Cricket. Hand off from the shotgun. Crosses the 30 to the 31 and a six-yard pickup. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to nice. go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. 
I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he froze that defender. He thought he was going to pitch it, kept it himself, and turned it into a big play. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. They'll leave it with him. Finds a crease at the 20. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the... Yep, yep, yep. The give to the back. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Dialing up a second down pass play. Trying to make magic with his feet. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to they put up the big stats, but when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, to get down and don't take a big hit. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Might as well stick with him. And he picks up a first down. That is not a flag on the play. It's just lingerie on the deck after that move. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. They'll give it to the back. Smashes through. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run it from the gun. Nice move to pick up yardage. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Give to the running back. Got some room huh. entered to the goal line. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And they take it in for six more points. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to oh. run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Nice job by the defense there, getting a stop on the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. We know they've been burned a few times early in this game by the QB run, but we weren't going to let it happen there. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Down to the 16-yard line, it's first and 10. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. They make the stop, and they give up five yards on the run. It's down to the 11. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Out of the shotgun on third down. Touchdown, Owls! And the beatdown has ensued. Salt enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. <laughs> How 
power football with the run. Bowles his way forward. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He wants to throw here on second down. Complete downfield. You don't give a hoot. Yep. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. And the pummeling has started. There's no more. Movement on the offense, and they'll lose five yards on the penalty. Ah, oh, man. Full start. 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 So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here we go. They go to the ground. Turns it on in midfield. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's Bond. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Yeah, and obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead and now when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games you're still getting pounded this defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical d coordinators down the road that have to play this offense man they're gonna have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill at running back receiver Damn tight end start, start, quarterback start. making good decisions it is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. To the ground with the back. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And the... <laughs> we waited so long to start the season, and just the way you want to start, getting that first victory. And the first games are so much fun. You've been practicing against each other over and over all through camp now you get to come
Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the house Bill Yeoman and Andre Ware built. Home to the... I know one in their damn place. Use the play fake now to throw. Still looking on the move. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48 yard line. Scrambling. Look at the scramble and look at that. Woo! On first down, here comes this offense. Handoff to the single running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. So, guys, over the last few years, there have been seismic changes to college football. Realignment, name, image, and likeness. But one of the biggest changes, the transfer portal. Yeah, and now guys that are unhappy or in a situation where they see something that they'd rather be in, now you can leave, and there is no penalty. So a lot of recruiting, Jesse, on other people's teams that go on throughout a season. Yeah, it's 365, and it's a lot of pressure on coaches to re-recruit their own players as well to try to keep those rosters intact. But the transfer portal completely flips rosters upside down. One team that struggles this year, if they get one key addition, it's a team potentially competing for a national championship next season. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Snags it. They will score. Touchdown, Owls. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself. Looking for room, it's Bond. Out across the 30, marked down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. On the run, fires downfield. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. Here comes the offense on second down. Running back searching for a hole. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. A lot of times defense is blitz to stop the run. This very play right here uh, puts the linebacker. But, man, the offense did a great job. Everybody understood what they saw. Running back understood. Pick up a nice positive gain when they were trying to get a blitz and maybe create a tackle for a loss. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Here's the handoff. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, wants to throw it. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Kennesaw State right back to work. From the gun on third down. Still moving to his right, trying to make a big play. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. On first and ten from the 38. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. Powers through the defender. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Leaves it with the back. He's got space. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end 
zone. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find... They'll crank up this drive with the pass. It's caught. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 <laughs> yards. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they'd hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. The give to the tailback. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. And with that last carry, into triple digits, over 100 yards for the day. And he's showing you power. He's showing you speed. He's showing you make you miss. He really is showing you he's a complete back. And by the way, it's still the first half. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. They've gotten this thing up and running fast, back and forth. We're inside a minute to play in the first. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Lost one on that last one, it's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Offense calls a timeout, big down coming, they want to talk it over. And we might as well state the obvious, first and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Every defense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. It's caught downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Setting up for a first and ten from the 26. Yeah, and you've seen these Cole routes. This is the time. The ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top. Got a lot of running room. The 30. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. They'll try the run. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. He leaves it with his back. Giving him his pads. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. Now on first down from the 40. On the run, it's Bond. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And oh no, he loses the ball at the end of the run. And just like they drew it up, right? Put it on the ground, get it, get the first down. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Touchdown, Owls! And they add six more to the board.
They'll go to the ground. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. That midfield, he's got room. All kinds of running room. He's at the 10. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great... Leaves it with the running back. Still on his feet at the 45. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Trying to find his man on first down. He'll pull it down. No, oh, he got loose. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Coming after it. This time, they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. Kennesaw State right back to work. Looking to throw on second down. He's got it on the move. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking to throw on third. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. One thing this team has shown early this year, it does not take them long to find their footing. They get...
fast starts. That was... They're going to throw it to start the drive. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. After... Second down. He's looking to throw. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator. Because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass. But you know what? I'll just scramble around and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick him up and put him down. And I'm faster than most of your other guys, too. So good luck stopping him. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. And back to the air on second down. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The give to the back. Oh, what a move. Gets away from one, finds some space. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown, Owls! And they take it in for six more points. And I love this offense, man. Staying aggressive. Just because you got the lead, you know people can score points in bunches. This offense keeps the foot on the accelerator. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to make magic on the scramble. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them. They'll get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. They're trying to get to him. And the defense making a short tackle just short of the first down marker. There was From the gun, running back on the move. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. He'll start this drive firing. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Offense working from the pistol. Man, you love those plays as a defense when the quarterback gets a little bit sloppy and floats one out there, and you just got an opportunity to run underneath. You got to run underneath that thing and squeeze it and make the play. You can't look where you're running before you catch it. Maybe he was peeking ahead a little bit before he secured that thing. Well, jet sweep pass. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. Now they got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. He's gonna pass. 
It's complete. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Makes his connection. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. They hope to...
looking to move it through the air. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play. And here they come again. They'll leave it with him. At the 40. There he goes. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. The give to the back. Got enough space. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. They'll give it to the back. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Late in football games, I have a plan. I want to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the pass and getting the sack. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Kennesaw State right back to work. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Kept it on the ground on third down. Picked up five yards, but it'll still be fourth and one. Give to the running back. Hard running there. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And it looks as if the offense will just take a knee. It came down to the final quarter, clutch plays, guys delivered, and they get the close win. Yeah, Reese, big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circumstance. As a coaching staff, David, you love this. You know that you have confidence in your guys to go out and be able to execute when it matters the most. Correct, and you don't know until the games, right? You don't know when those...